Welcome back guys to another Forza Horizon 4 video and in today's video we're going to be continuing on our search for the fastest drag car. Now if you haven't seen the last video, first of all, uh, I definitely go recommend it because we used this thing, a Nissan Silvia K, an S13 model, not an S14. Um, I believe, I'm pretty sure this is an S13. You have arrived at your destination. Um, anyways. In the last video, we used this thing, took it up our drift road up in Fortune Island. And it did pretty well. It did a lot better than our Haviland. And that's all I'm going to say. So if you haven't seen it, I definitely go recommend it. I will leave a link to that down below in the description. As well as a few other videos that I think you guys would like to see. Now, like I said, we're going to be trying our best to try and find the fastest drag car. And we're doing this on a budget. So we have $50,000 to do this entire project. And we have to go to the auction house to find a car cheap. You know, a car that can like go fast. You know what I mean? We could do this, a Mazda RX-7. It's a lightweight sports car. We could throw drag radios on it. Maybe a... Uh, I don't know if we can throw in a, uh, what do you call it? Engine swap, there you go. My god, my mind just absolutely blanked out. We can do a Ford Fiesta ST, maybe? A Mercedes Benz, oof. I don't know, there's some good choices up in the auction house. A Pontiac Firebird? Uh, there's another Z28. $40,000 though. Uh, I think that's a little too much there. You see you got a guy down here. $9,000 for a uh, Camaro Z28. That is still the fastest car we've had so far. And I'm trying to find a little car. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna test our luck on this. On this little Abarth here. $4,000. We have $46,000 to upgrade it. We have $4,000 for a Corvette. I will gladly bid on that one. Maybe we can do that one as well. Alright, so we won the Abarth. We also did win the Corvette. But then I decided that we should try and do this one. It's a little light car. And I feel like even if we did the Corvette, this one would be a little bit faster. Now we could throw on a supercharger, which only adds 6 horsepower. Uh, I am going to make it all-wheel drive and before I mess with the engine swaps that's already ten thousand dollars oh my goodness uh, let's throw on some drag tires first holy shoot that's twenty thousand dollars in just this stuff all right we haven't even added power yet oh this is gonna be a little bit of a how would you say it a milestone type of thing. We can throw an i4 turbo engine for $17,000. Oh no. We have $46,000 to upgrade this guy. So just, just keep that in mind. We don't have a lot of money to spend. Because right now we're rocking 28 horsepower. That's horrible. We could give it 158 horsepower. 196 horsepower. Or a full on 300 horsepower but if we add that that's already $51,000 and that's a little bit way too much uh, I have no idea how to how to do this and we should add weight reduction now weight reduction ain't gonna do a lot what I did need to do is actually upgrade the gears because the last time we did this we couldn't even upgrade our gears that's another $2,000 and now we're left at taking off all of this stuff. We're rocking 300 flat horsepower because we have nothing else to do. And I mean 300 horsepower in a super light car. We never know how what's going to happen or how this is going to go. So hopefully it goes well. Alright so we're here at the festival. We're here at the drag strip thing. And we're going to see what this thing can do. This is our first race. We have three tries. And three, two, one, go. Shift up. Second gear. Oh, I hit the clutch by accident. Shift up again. And cross the line. 
So I don't know if that was fast. I think that was like a 10 second probably. Yep, 10 seconds. There's no possible way I can shave off a whole two seconds off of this. But we're going to see how fast we can actually take it. I think I can actually beat the Mustang if I were to test this correctly or if I were to tune it correctly. We have a 10.277 as our first try. We're going to go into our tuning mode. Let's restart the race. We're going to go into our, our tuning session mode and we're going to see what we can do to the car. So first of all, want to lower the tire pressure in the rear. Give it like a 20. Gearing right here is what I really did want to mess with. I'll give it like a 3 flat on gearing. And then I want to extend the first one to that notch right there. Second one can go by right there. Third, I want it to extend as far as it can. And then fourth gear, if I need it, can carry me to the finish line. Alignment, everything's the way it needs to be. Um, yeah, everything. Nope, don't mess with it yet. Hold up. Everything's the way it needs to be. Roll bars don't need to mess with that. Springs. I do want to stiffen up the suspension in the front, maybe a little bit. In the rear, uh, I'll throw like a 150 if I can. There you go. Damping as well. I'm not going to mess with damping. Aerodynamics. Don't need to mess with it. Differential. Don't need to mess with it because I can't even mess with it. And there you go. We're going to see what this thing can do with our little tune setup. So hopefully I can actually go somewhere with it. Oh my goodness. The wheelie. Okay. So third gear didn't carry me all the way. But fourth gear is giving me a little bit of a boost. Did you guys see that wheelie? Holy shoot. Ten we went slower. I bet you anything was because of that wheelie at the start. 10.477. I don't even think we're going to be able to beat the Mustang. The Mustang had like a 9.8. There has to be a way, bro. There has to be a way that I can shave off a few seconds. A few like milliseconds, hopefully. Let's go back to tuning. And since that was a lot of a launch, I don't need that much launch. I don't need that much of an aggressive launch. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna throw down the 270. Um, I mean that's about the only thing I can do. I can't do anything else. Let's see what this this can do. I guess. Hopefully, uh, we can get into the nines. That was a bit of a better launch. No wheelie, no drama. Keep it as straight as possible. Fourth gear. 132 across the line. Here's the moment of truth. Moment of truth. A 10.110. So, we couldn't pass or beat the Mustang. And we apparently got last place for the Abarth in terms of our total times i just need to write this down really quick hold up if you enjoyed it nonetheless be sure to smack that like button comment down below what you think i should try and find on the auction house to do some you know drag races like this some budget builds so just uh comment down below what cars you would like to see but that's gonna wrap it off for this one guys i hope you guys have an outstanding day and i'll catch you guys in the next video